Hi everyone, today for our book of the day, we're going to be reading one of my favorite books. And I think it might be one of your favorite books too. It's Thelma the Unicorn by Aaron Blaby. Thelma felt a little sad. In fact, she felt forlorn. You see, she wished with all her heart to be a unicorn. Her best friend's name was Otis. He liked her quite a lot. He said, you're perfect as you are. But Thelma said, I'm not. And that was when she saw it, a carrot on the ground. It gave her such a great idea. She squealed and jumped around. She took that simple carrot and she tied it to her nose. I'll say that I'm a unicorn. It might just work, who knows? Well, as she did, a truck drove by. The driver rubbed his eyes. Good grief, is that a unicorn? He shrieked in great surprise. As Thelma watched the swerving truck, it very nearly hit her. Would you believe that that truck was filled with nice pink paint and glitter? Oh, Thelma looked amazing. She was a unicorn. I'm special now, she cried out loud. And so a star was born. All across the whole wide world, her fans would cheer her name. Thelma loved it every bit. The fame, the fame, the fame. Thelma was a superstar. Her dreams had all come true. But soon she found that so much fame was kind of tricky too. You see, her fans were mad for her. They'd scream and cry and laugh. They'd chase her everywhere she went to get an autograph. In fact, they'd chase her all day long. It never, ever stopped. They chased her while she exercised. They chase her while she shopped. Please don't chase me anymore, she asked the screaming crowd. We'll chase you all we want, they said. We're fans, so it's allowed. And some were not her fans at all. No, some were really mean. And some just did the meanest things she'd really ever seen. So one dark night, she felt quite sad, this famous little pony. She said, I thought that I'd be great, but all I feel is lonely. She's looking at a picture of Otis. And so with that, she changed her mind, this lonely unicorn. She cleaned off all her sparkles and she ditched her magic horn. And then she walked right past the crowd. They didn't even notice. 
She thought how nice that it would be. To see her lovely Otis. And when he asked about her trip beneath their favourite tree, she simply said, Oh, it was fun. But I'd rather just be me. I love this story because it tells us that even though we might not be all sparkly and sometimes we might not feel very nice, that it's always best to be yourself. <laughs>